And welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod, and we are going to start a new series. Um, don't worry, still going to do the other series I've been doing. Um, the John Targaryen, excuse me, um, Euron Greyjoy one, and the Tywin. So, <clears throat> but I figured I'd start another one, just give a little more flavor. But the uh, John Targaryen one, I'm going to at least do till. Um, who's in power now, Rhaegar, takes over, um, the throne from his mom, Daenerys, and might do a little more conquest in, in Essos, but I don't, I don't really want to go too far, because it's getting to the point now, it's very, it's very mundane, and, and we're just waiting pretty much for our mom to die, because there's not much you can do being underneath the crown, so instead of, I mean, revolting against her and taking it over from her which that's not i don't think what he would do anyways but uh the time one's gonna go for a while um you're on might go for a little bit more i don't know how much more but we'll start this one off and this kind of gave me the you know the me thinking about doing this because of the time one and we're in the war of the nine penny kings bookmark and who we're going to be playing as is going to be Lord Roger the Red Lion. Okay, this is, um, I like this one. I've done this on the side before, like a couple years ago, where he pretty much owes money to Lord Paramount Titus, the Tuplus line, and Tywin pretty much, you know, goes after him for it, where, uh, Titus Lannister, Tywin's dad. It's pretty much made like the laughing stock of Westerlands. Everybody uses him, borrows money from him, never pays it back, kind of thing. So what we're gonna do is maybe try to beat Tywin to the punch and um take over the Westerlands from the Lannisters as the Red Lines of the uh of the West. Now they're like pretty much the same sigil as Lannisters, just red line instead of a uh gold line with the white background so we are going to try to pull the west out from under the lannisters now time thinks he's you know big and bad and he's going to make us come to heel and maybe we can uh rewrite the reigns of castamere let me make sure white walker right. white walker shouldn't come anytime soon let me make sure. Yeah, canon. Um, we'll invade around the time as in canon, 8290. Um, let me see. I really don't want them on this one because they don't. It's really, they weren't involved at this point, so. Um, we'll invade around the time as a canon. That is first severe winter after 8290. So it's like 30 years. Hmm. No, we'll we'll turn off this one. A lot of times it's just it's good if it goes with the story that you're playing. Other than that, like they just become a headache. You end up they end up getting beat anyways. It's just you gotta literally throw the whole realm at them, and then you're taking like thirty years to uh come like to bring back everybody because they literally used up every resource to freaking uh push them back so at some playthroughs they they fit like with john and you know it's that was at his timeline but like right now nine penny kings this is 30 years before they even show signs not they don't even invade at eight uh 8290 it's not really until you know 83 zero zero and a little after, we really, they haven't been really debated yet at all, so I don't think it just would fit with this time period. We're playing as a uh, Westerman Lord of the Faith of the Seven Religion. Goes the same as usual. Um, Alright, <clears throat> Lord Roger, I regret to inform you that I have decided to remove you from your position on the council. Whilst you have ably served in your position, I have deemed another person more suitable to see at your place. Now, I don't know if this is going with, like, what's going to happen, maybe. Because, uh, if you look, Tywin is 17. He's betrothed to his cousin, Joanna. Um, he's not yet. We're rivals, I think, yeah. Um, his dad, we aren't rivals, but 
I think we're uh, independent right now of the Westerlands is the thing. So we'll get rid of that. Uh, we have Castamere and Quebec, which are is apparently under us. And I think, what else do we have? What is B-Town? I guess in Glitterdale we have a barony. And in Lance Point, there's a man who, I don't know why we have those. But we're only supposed to be able to have two holdings for some reason. Our stewardship isn't that bad, though. Maybe if we get married, because your uh, wife and husband, their stewardships are combined. So maybe if we find somebody... It has a decent enough uh, stewardship. Let's look at our kids. I know he's fucking spectacular. I don't have to worry about him. So martial wise, a formidable fighter. He's got dual skill of 12. He's sick. Mm. Yeah, that's what it is. Ra Rafford or Rafford, however you say it, Rain. He's pretty good martial wise, too. Now, our heir isn't really anything special. He's okay, diplomacy. He's a knight, ambitious, kind, Roth, proud. Rafford is kind, but paranoid. <laughs> ambitious. I think all the Reigns are ambitious. Uh, even the brother. Yeah, Raynor Reigns, not bad. Diplomacy was. He's got decent dual skill. This one's the one that's married to the Lord, uh, Tarbeck. And she's like, she was betrothed, I remember, to, yeah. Or she was actually married to Tion Lannister. And he died in battle. And it was known that, like, she wanted to come in the Lannisters to try to, like, you know, uh, you know, uh, what, what was it, or, like, seduce the, you know, the Lannister men and try to, uh, you know, pretty much, as you can see, she's a master seducer. She tries to pretty much take over, you know, the Lannisters, tries to marry, um, I forget who it is. I think she tries to marry one of the Lannisters, I don't know if it's Tywin or Tywin's brother Kevin, something like that. If you watch the history of lore on um, Game of Thrones, they have with all the the seasons of Game of Thrones they put in there, they show what the reason for the reigns of Castamere is. So they have Kevin, Teagut, uh, and Jerrion, and they have uh, Jenna, who ends up, she's betrothed already to Sir Emin Frey, who is Walter's son. One of, I think the second one, yeah. So... We are going, our main objective is going to be to revolt against the Riverlands, Riverlands, the Westerlands, and try to take over, because Tywin's dad's really not that great. He's actually, he's depressed, he's widowed, um, he has a mistress, I think, yeah. This mistress woman, like, pretty much has him wrapped around her finger, and Tywin doesn't like it. Tywin starts to take more control before he's actually the lord of, uh, Cashley Rock. Now, the crowd is at war with uh, Bailey's debaucherous black bar. This guy, he's got like a little fetus head growing out of his neck, but they don't show it. He has his sword black bar. Um, he does lead the Golden Company. He has a decent amount of event spawn troops. Um, so, yeah, the crown's at war with him. He also has the Lord of Tyrosh with him, who has 13,000 men. And then the yeah, the Golden Company, Captain General Derek. Uh, and then Jaharis has the Archon of Tyros, who is different from the actual Lord. This guy, like, takes over Tyros. And then you have the Archon here that's trying to fight back to get his his uh, kingdom back or whatever, his city. So they're going to be pretty you know, tied up with that. The Westerlands are part of this war. Now, we don't, I think, join that war. So... We're not really, you know, have to worry about being part of that. So this is going to be the best time to attack Titus because he's going to have all his men pretty much raised in dealing with that. So we're going to wait till he raises his men, kind of takes them off away from our, our realm, and then we're going to attack. Because if you look, we have a right amount of men, but it's not nothing compared to the Westerns. Now, a lot of these people are fragmented because I think some of them aren't, down with going to war. They've had enough with the other Blackfire rebellions, and I think some of them actually might side with them. It happens. Uh, these little lords here, part of the Westerlands, uh, like these little ones here, the ones up here, the Crag, but there's a lot of lords that are, you know, don't want any part of it, I guess. Um, so, 
he could have a lot more men than he does, so we've gotten lucky. Some of these might still uh, side up with him. We'll have to see. Um, let's see. Is there any individual counties that maybe we can snatch up? They all seem to be under High Lords for the most part, or actually under the Lannisters directly. So there's nobody we can really just snatch up from under him, unless a couple lords that are underneath him might go, hey, we're not doing this. So we have, oh, we have that too? Yeah, we have, uh, well, I don't know why this guy's our vassal. We have some city over here that's actually underneath us. So we got vassals like stretched out, like, then we have holdings and other people's stuff. I don't know why that is or how, but I guess we we'll just have to deal with it. Um, one of the things I want to do is get him married. He's not widowed, so I think we're going to go for the uh, married ambition right away. Because I do want to find somebody that has decent stewardship. So we won't have to give away these other holdings. I really don't want to. Um, she's got very good... Uh, what you call it now shoes here we only have one vassal because these other ones that aren't actual like lord positions don't count so we only have tarbeck hall under us our high lordships kind of trash i mean we had this one we really had this one but for some reason i guess he saw i don't know he's a case so i don't know why hold on let me see what the jour yeah it's only those two that's kind of weird you think it'd be more than that but I guess the crag is pretty much the same. Yeah. They're, but they're like a low lord. Like, I think later on it's just Castle Tarbeck Hall. Like, it's not even a lordship. So, we're going to go with getting married. Um, Let's go back and look at this again. Thinking this girl. I'm just taking the top, you know, who girl that is from a noble house that has great stewardship and isn't, like, trash. She's got pretty good traits other than the rude one. Well, we can get past that. And it can help us getting a, uh, a alliance. The Karens aren't, a, aren't bad. I mean, they're not terrible. Um, let's see. The Graftons, they're way over there. But they're another one that aren't bad. I mean, it's not as much as the, uh, the Karen was. But let's look here. Uh, Carthine, there's a Northman. That's a Faith of the Seven. We got a Wagstaff. Um, Bulwer, let's see, ooh, actual Baratheon, now this might be good, she's a little old, but, let me see, does she have other sisters, no, she's actually the sibling of the Lord Paramount, this might actually be beneficial, because then we can get a alliance, hopefully, I don't know, because he doesn't really like us to begin with, so, I'm hoping it would give us enough stewardship to keep uh, the holdings we have if we did do it. We can get it. It would get us a non-aggression at least. Let me see. How much money do we have to give him? It isn't that much. And we have gold mines. So I think with that and giving him the money, we could get uh, we could get the alliance. And then hopefully he would help us, if need be, to take out the Lannisters. So I'm thinking we might go with that. We do have two sons. Uh, we have a brother, so we, we do have some reigns to take over. We have 12 members in our family, so we don't have to really worry about making any more offspring. We can still have another kid with her. I mean, she's not past childbearing years, so it's not that big. And then there's a Tully, too, but her stewardship is trash. <laughs> I'm really doing it for the stewardship mostly, just to be able to keep these other holdings and collect the tax and the men from them. So we're going to go with that. We're going to go with this girl from the Stormlands. All right. Um, we're not going to pick Focus yet because I'm going to make sure it is what it is. If not, we might have to take Rulership Focus. Um, we used to have Red Rain. Now, the drums, like years and years before, take have taken it from us. They used to be still, very still sort of House Rain. So they acquired it from house, Four House Drum with Justice Wits and Wooden Cudgel. So... I'm thinking maybe we try to go after them at some time to take that back. Um, demand return of Valyrian Steel. I didn't even know they had this. Uh, Valyrian Steel that is justly proper property of House Raid is currently in the Iron Isles. A demand can be sent for its return under threat of war. Oh, that's cool. 
uh, opinion of it changes by minus 15 for 60 months. Demand Valir, the return of Valerian Steel. A message is sent to Lord Paramount. Quellen Gray Joy demanding return of Valerian Steel. Threatening war if this is not done. Red Rain currently held by Lord Dunstan Drum is demanded. So I'm thinking maybe first we, we deal with what we have to deal with in the, in the Westerlands. And then we become more Paramount. And it'll give us more grounds to, you know, say, hey, give us back our damn sword. Um, I guess we can't demand it from him personally, so yeah, I think that's going to be the future here because we do want that back. Um, let's see, what do we need to do here? We need a special uh, crown focus. Now I'm thinking maybe we wait to do that just in case you know we take Cashly Rock. The Cashly Rock really kind of sucks as a holding, other than the fort level. I mean, you don't have but one extra holding there. So maybe we'll just make crown focus here for now. And if we take Castle Rock, we take it, whatever. Alright, um we have kids that lack a focus. This kid's eleven. He'll be twelve in a couple months. He's our grandson. I think he's third in line. Yeah. Kyle Rain. Um it's not relatively like I guess we'll just do duty for now. He's already got conscientious. Matter of fact, Go at Thrift. Maybe he can uh, pick up Curious. I don't really care too much about Fussy. So he's not only going to have it for a couple months anyway. So not a, it's not a big a big chance that we're going to get uh, another thing before then. Um, I guess this is his sister. I'll just put her in duty. Okay, we got council members. This guy is okay, I guess. Justice here. Our brother is better, so we might end up switching him out uh, soon. Uh, Walder and Tarvek, eh, he's 75, he's a terrible commander. I really want to change this because I need somebody training the kids. So I'll probably put our son there. He's going to die relatively soon, he's 75, I don't see him lasting much longer. This guy sucks bad, but there's not really anybody else to put. Um... Spy master's terrible on top of it. So you can put Reinhardt at uh, diplomacy and intrigue, but I think we'll we'll try to uh, pay some people to come uh, work with us. Our maester sucks. Our septon sucks. So <laughs> not much there. Um, let's look. See if there's anybody. Uh, what are we looking for? A spy master. It's very important. Uh, is this Valman we can get? Of course, time it won't come. Let me see if there's anybody we can get without paying real quick. That's worth 10 cents. Alright, this guy's not bad. Doesn't like us that much though. How much was the one guy? He doesn't like us either. Let's just give it. Uh, I don't know if we can use women. Yeah, we can. Alright. Maya Templeton. She's pretty good. Alright. We'll go ahead and take her. Invite her to court. We definitely need to find a uh, Septon because he's trash. Let me see. There's not too many that will end up going to court with you. Um, even with paying them. It's not looking good. If we can get somebody better than six, it'd be a you know, step up. We can always uh, hire a holy man through intrigue, which I think would be better off doing anyways probably costs us less money too um we need a treasure i think all right all right we got a veilman here it's too old uh this westerman is pretty decent maybe we can go with him he's an associate valerian i don't think we're gonna do that um Let's see, there's a Westerman here with Brilliant Stewart. We'll take him. He's not that old. Invite the court. There. That's good for now. Maester really can't do much about. Um, he's not completely terrible, so he's alright. Uh, we'll have Regent. I think we'll just have our son get, uh, getting some prestige. Um, we can have bodyguards. We'll have our brother and our other son. We need a cupbearer. I guess let's put him. Um, court tutors, our maester, even though he sucks. We 
are okay on the commander part, I think. And we do have this guy's pretty good. I think we might switch out our nephew. I mean, he does have good modifiers. Definitely going to leave our one son. He's good. This Quinn guy's all right. Oh, he's on the council, though. He's in the spot. But we're going to switch him out anyway, so we might as well just leave him there. We'll take this. Reynard, our brother. Let me see. His modifiers compared to our nephew. I think our nephew will leave and take out our brother. Put this guy. All right. We can always get some more uh, commanders when it's time to go to war. We don't have an advisor, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's check out the intrigue. <clears throat> We're not going to found a new kingdom or anything like that. Um, let me look here. We can have attorney, but we're not doing that. Stavage household guard we're going to do when we get a little more money. We are going to employ a new court tier. It's only seven, so we'll do that now. Oh, we need a holy man. All right, he's better. So we're going to go ahead and swap this guy out now. There you go. And we're going to perform charity at Castamere. We're going to have this guy taken out soon. <laughs> so we're not going to have him doing anything. Um, we'll keep him the way he is. I don't know. I don't think we need to establish any claims right now. And we'll have him overseeing. Have him serving the court. So everything else is good. All right. So we can go ahead and unpause and see where this goes. We are going to pick a focus as soon as I realize after we get our wife. All right. Titus Lannister is weak. Always forgiving ours and other houses debt. His sons are m more difficult, however. Lord Titus' heir, Sir Tywin, has demanded either repayment of the loans or hostages as security. Of course, I rejected his outrageous edicts leading to the imprisonment of my vassal, Lord Tarbuck, and our capture of three Lannisters in return. As ever, Lord Titus capitulated, but Sir Tommen was subsequently sent a ra sub has subsequently sent a raven to Castamere demanding I answer for my supposed crimes at Castle Rock. So, <laughs> there's not much time, I guess. Um, we have to pretty much do it right away. Uh... Lord Roger Red Lion declares war on Lord Paramount Titus, the Toothless Lion. Lord Paramount Titus' opinion of Lord Roger is minus 50 for traitor. And Lord Tywin's for Roger is minus 50. He already is a rival, so it doesn't matter. I will armor my case before Lord Titus. So, I would be imprisoned along with Tarbeck and Lady Ellen, who is Tarbeck's uh, wife and our sister. So, of course, we're not going to give in. We're Roger the Red Line of Castamere. Alright. So now we're at war. Uh, Lord Roger the Red Line has declared Lord Roger's claim on the Westerlands and Lord Paramount Titus. So, what we need to do, probably, we're going to probably have to hire some mercenaries. We have the money and we make not much money. <laughs> uh, it should be more than that. I don't know why it's so low. Um, and. We can't raise these guys here. Actually, we could because they'll be uh, full morale. But he's probably going to start marching these 5,000 up here. We also have the men at Glitterdale. That's 826. The ones at Tarbeck. I thought we had Quebec. Or that's in ours. That has 13. Damn, it should have more than that. I thought it had like 1,300. Ours, it's 3,094. Let's look here. We don't have much in the way of Vassal. Um... Let me look at these vassals real quick. Um, this guy is, I think he's, he's in Castamere. Yeah. A couple of them are other places. I just don't want them to spawn and be right on top of uh, Lannister men. It would be pointless. Um, the city of Crags Bay. That's the one that's here. Now, I know it isn't going to be as much as 380. Oh, it actually is 655, but they're not going to have any morale. So, I don't want to do that either. Um, his men are going to be the, the chunk of men that we need. I'm wondering if I should give him more gold to get more men, which I think we should. It's only 18. 
and then this should go up some as well. Uh, maybe if I pause it, I know if you give them more men, it'll go up, but it's not like a whole shitload or anything. I mean, more money. Um, these guys, we're not gonna get anything from him due to the fact that he's loyal to the High Septon. Let me see how loyal he is. 23 or 17, how much can we give him? 15. That'll make him more loyal to us so then we'll get those men. Um, that guy, I'm not giving money to him. Alright. Now we'll get to 24 men. Oh my god. Alright. We need Sworn Shield. It's Ty Wolf guy. Alright. And he's leaving these guys, so that's good. He's coming up. So we need him to raise our men here. They'll at least be fully morale. We'll take these guys out. Because um, they're going to stop. The Quebec Hall ones will be fully morale. So that's good. We'll go ahead and put them together. We're definitely going to lead our own men. And then we're going to have, let's see, probably our son leading with us. This Roger Rain, our nephew, is not bad either. So we will have our son. Yeah, our son there. Now, we have this one over here, too, which has, I think, 800 and some change. We'll raise that. Maybe had to have them come around the other side. Um, it looks like some of these other uh, count, uh, lords decided to join up with Tywin. Let me see what the cheapest mercenaries are. This one, we can get 1,500 more. Um, the guys here, we're going to wait till we get there to get so we'll go ahead and go there now um Tarbeck Hall where is he at Mall Hill he's gonna be there in a couple days with that 5,000 Tarbeck guys let's see 818 maybe we can get them I'm trying to think he's gonna get there before we have to really be slick with this um he's gonna be there in five days with the 5,000 he's gonna keep coming that way these Tarbeck men probably aren't gonna get to us in time nowhere close probably so we might have the way bring these guys down hopefully get these guys to meet with us I'm thinking maybe we should wait to raise them until he gets past it and then we can come at them from the other side. I think that's what we might do. I'm going to probably drop his men back down. If he starts coming this way and we can't get away from it. I'm wondering if it's easier to go around that way. Yeah, because he'd have to go way out here and swing around. So we'll have him come down. And these are all Westerland counties here too. They're probably going to raise up men on top of it. So, actually, I'm going to take these men and disband them. Because they might uh, pop up as soon as we do. The guys that are right here that are under our castle are 826. So, we could raise them right away and they'll take those guys out. But he's coming right now. So, when he gets past it, we'll have them come up. All right, we gotta. This house is speed on. We gotta really be quick. Uh, let me see. All right, hopefully she gives us enough stewardship. Damn it, only for one more. All right, fulfill the ambition to get married. So we're gonna have to take this the rulership focus. Hopefully it gives us enough to keep that fourth one because we're taking a hit by having over domain. Uh, limit as you see 80 percent tax money we're, we're losing because of that all right win the war of course all right let's see if it gives us two yes all right that's enough so we get to keep all four we don't take the penalty so that's great we get more tax money which is always good um all right he stopped i'm surprised he did that all right so we're gonna go ahead raise these men back up their full morale. We're going to have them come around the Tarbeck Hall. 
These guys are coming up here. He stopped. He's going to siege out our one thing there. We're going to take them out, have them meet up. And then when we get here, we're going to raise the guys here. Hopefully, we have enough time. If he sieges it all the way out, we're going to be screwed. We're going to lose those men. Uh, we do need the money. Come on. Give me some. Ah, oh, a greedy son of a bitch. It's enough for us to get uh, mercenaries, at least. We definitely can't host any weddings right now. <laughs> All right, we got this girl as our spy, new spy master is going to be. Sorry, buddy, but you got to go. Um, let me see. Who did we raise yet and not? We didn't raise any of them. So they're all at Castamere, I think. So we'll raise all of them, which is not much. <laughs> and this guy is where we're going. So we'll wait till we get there and then raise him. All right, and then we had that 826 here. As long as we can get there in time, they won't completely get wiped out. That's the only thing that sucks about him hitting that right now. Um, yeah, we'll put her at Spy Master. So we already have his memories, I think. I hope that was him. Probably wasn't. Oh, there are men anyways. Okay. And then these guys. Is this... Where is he at? This guy, right? Hold on, I'm confused. All right, that guy was the one I think we just took off. Okay, no, hey, it was him. All right, we won't get as many men. We weren't getting many in it to begin with, so ain't a big deal. All right, I accept your gracious invitation. We got him for stewardship. And this guy was accepting Castamere, so we don't have to worry about that. And he likes us a lot, anyways. Um, we actually could add our wife doing it, but he's just a tad bit better. We'll have him collecting taxes, as the other man was. We will have them come with us. They probably won't make it there, but just for shit. All right, we're not going to lose any men, which is good. So we're going to come back down here. They're still coming. We'll let them keep coming because they might, if we stop them, they'll probably come at them. All uh, right, they're making their way down. Which is good. Now we're gonna start coming down. Uh, we got oh shit! See, I knew this shit was gonna happen. Ah uh, damn it! All right, they have low morale. We can beat them. Let me put Roger on him. We could definitely beat them with that number. They have no morale whatsoever. They're gonna get there in a little bit. They should definitely beat them. Still, this is a risk I'm taking, but I think it's gonna pay off. All right, cool, they did it. All right. Man, they're already, I should have, didn't, didn't do that right. Uh, have them come down. I don't want to stop him. All right, that's 7,000 there, Jesus. We're going to have to wait for him to get there. It's still not going to be enough, but we're going to raise these guys as soon as we get there. They'll be full morale, so that's the one good thing about it. Uh, we might have to have him come straight there. Let me see how many men we still have there. Shit. Alright, um. They're in this area. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Alright, they're all together. We're going to have Roger there. Raffer. And this dude fell. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to just do regular with him. Um, we need the money because we're gonna probably need a. Uh, damn man, we're still not gonna be able to paying the twenty three. Oh, we can take a loan. That's what we're gonna do. Do it now. Good, we can get two hundred. All right, we're definitely gonna probably need mercenaries. His men are going up more. This is only going to be 800 men. So with them together, it's going to be over 6,000. We're still not going to have enough. Um, we're probably going to have to just be beat on those men. I forgot about these ones. God damn it. It's only 59. <laughs> uh, all right, mercenaries. We have 447. We're definitely going to get some decent ones. We get ones that have light cabin heavy. These guys here probably, um, yeah, they have way more heavy infantry. Yeah, we'll get these guys. All right, 
still going to be close to the amount of men we have. We're probably going to be beat on those other men. Damn, where do you get all those men from? Oh my god, this is going to be a lot harder than I thought. I should have probably... That isn't anymore. I might have to uh, get even more. 150. Well, we won't be able to pay for them. That was the thing. Um, hopefully these guys don't go down anymore. By the time we get there. Hopefully we can get there before he stop. He uh, completely wipes it out. Who is this kid again? Our grandson. Um... He's good at stewardship, but he's got negative there. We'll just go with diplomacy. Hmm. Oh, he's a great eminence. We'll go with him. Alright. They're almost there. They're both coming down. Please get here sometime. I should have rose I should have raised them a while ago. Shit. More and more men coming. Oh my god. They're actually fighting in the other war too. They're, I guess they're just not dealing with that. They got to get down here quick. Come on, man. They're already halfway down. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, they assaulted it. Oh, I lost all the men there. Motherfucker. Just before they got here, man. Shit. He lost men to doing that. It was a good thing. And he's down in morale. How long until they get here? We don't have enough time. We're going to have to go at them. Hopefully we can get there before they... All right. We'll get... Let me see. 27th. They're going to get there at the same time. They might actually get there before we can because they're building up morale. I think right before the 27th, we'll stop them. We gotta do every little thing we have. His morale's going up, but he's not getting here any quicker. It should give him a day ahead of us. We're gonna stop. Alright, that way we get the bonus. We could probably beat him now. His morale is already down. Thank God. Hurry up before more men come. Get the hell out of here. Who just died? Tywin's dead. <laughs> It couldn't have been any better. Oh my god. News from Battle of Tarbeck Hall. We have a report that your rival, Tywin Lannister, has been killed while leading troops. Thank God. That just helped us so much. Alright. Fighting across the field, you see enemy soldier cut off. Others, you get close, you realize the enemy is Lord Paramount, Titus Lannister. Seeing you charge across the field towards him. Oh, he turned and fleed. What a coward. Man, if we could have... We could have killed him and have been over. Completely over. Can we get him to come to our side or anything? No. Damn it, man. I think our general, whoever it was, died too. Let me see. He's out of... He's not locked up anymore. Has inherited... Hold on. Oh, that's not the same one. He died. So I guess it's his brother or something. Can we raise his men again or no? Uh-uh. Alright, is there any men we can raise? No. Shit. This is gonna suck because, uh... We really don't have any men and we don't have the money to keep paying these, uh, mercenaries for long. So, yeah, he ran. So, we get, uh, 10% morale. I'm just glad he, he beat, they beat Tywin. I'm gonna have to take my spy master and put him, like, somewhere over here. Because we're going to have to try to stay around this area. But I want to make sure that he can see people coming. So we're going to have him right there. So there's no Lannisters around there at least. I think we might make a... Man. It'll take forever to siege that. Um, shit. I really don't know what, what path to go with. We're definitely going to try to take these guys out. And then head up there to get them. Hopefully there's nobody right here. I'm hoping. The best bet will be try to stay with these guys and just keep whittling them down. It's still saying he's got 20,000 men. I don't understand how he still does, but apparently he does. Um, 
We need a marshal. Um, shit, I don't want to give up one of my commanders, man. Mm. Let me see if we get uh, somebody real quick. I'm glad we killed Tywin at least. Man, it would have been it, it couldn't have worked out any better if, if uh what's his name would have charged across at us and we could have killed him and would have ended it right then and there. Uh ooh, Louis Mortel. We got Ellis Westerling. It's not bad. Holy Warrior. Um I think we'll go at Louis Martel. I might actually make him a commander and have somebody else take care of it. Alright, he's going to Golden Tooth. I just don't want him sneaking up on us, is the thing. What, more men. We gotta come up here, he's sieging our shit. We might have to do a lot of running around, but we can't really do too much running around because of the fact that we don't have a lot of money. We have to keep paying these, uh, what you call it? Alright, he's not really good commander, but he has great, uh, modifiers. Let's look to see if somebody else it'd be beneficial to put him yeah I think we'll just have him come off but then again it isn't we only need three one of them's our guy and then we have Raffert which is good and then Othell so we can keep him as master at arms uh, they don't like us a whole shitload but oh well damn he's got a good uh, 30 31.9% yearly at He'll improve the kid. All right, um, levy size and levy reinforcement rate. I think we need to go for that. So we're gonna go to put them there for now. All right, we're coming back up here to take them out. We really need to be careful. Cause he still has a shitload of men. Now, if he dies, Kevin takes over. I think. Yeah, and he's only thirteen. Can we try killing Titus? Let's see. Let's see what uh, if we paid money, even though we don't have the money to pay. One of his own kin will do it. That's about it. Board of Hornville. Yeah, we ain't gonna get nothing out of that. Um, let's see. How about can we kidnap his kid? That would give us probably fifty percent war score for that. Five, nine, eighteen, twenty-five. 29, uh, it's not going to be close to 100. You got to have over 100 for this shit to even work. Oh, we got to put auto stop plots on, I forgot. Um, okay, who do we need here? Sworn Shield. I'm glad he killed Tomino at least. Even if it doesn't work out, at least that happened. Alright. Go up and take out these 700. It's going to be a lot of just, you know sniping finding little pockets of men hopefully he takes some of his men towards the nine penny kings thing and we don't have to worry about too much we need to come back and take this back because that's six war score right there we have 30 right now in battle winning that battle and killing Tywin helps i wish we would have captured him if we would have captured him it would have been way better because we'd have had it had been a 50% war score. All right, what happened to Sourcefield? Source they dropped out. I wonder why. It'd be great if they came to our side. Usually you'll get at least one or two that'll pop up and say, hey, we're with you, but we haven't had none of that. So, um, there's men that we beat are somewhere around here. I can see them coming back. And he's going to reinforce just like we are. If we can reinforce these other 300 men... You know, to help. These fucking 100 men here. It doesn't have enough, but we're still going to go up there and take them out when we get the chance. Uh, we take Argus 300. They're probably going to go up there with them. Hurry up, man. Get this before any more men. All right, good. Keep going there. They'll get there in a second. Come on, come on. All right, we can go up. Yes, we'll catch those ones. See, if we can keep doing this and just sniping these, you know, 1,000 here, four, 500 there, it'll, it'll be all right. Um, what did he do? Sexual preferences. I don't care about that. All right. 
Hope there's no men getting ready to pop up here. And if so, we're screwed. Alright, alright. We're gonna keep going. Oh, shit. I'm wondering if... Mm, man, that sucks. It's a little too many. Um, <laughs> And they're reinforcing a lot quicker than we are. Um... I really don't know what we could do. We're losing money because we're paying for our own levies, which we have mostly is what it is. It sucks, man. All right. Where is he? He's at. We're gonna just try to come siege this. He's gonna siege that little barony. That's fine. I think he's going to get a cast of here. Now, if he starts sieging this and losing men, which he's not, he keeps coming. All right. We're not reinforcing as quick as he is for some reason. When he gets to Tarbeck Hall, we're going to have to probably make a move because I don't know what he's going to do. If he's going to come straight to cast me, which he probably is. I don't want him swinging up on me with some other men, too. So he only has like 5,000 more men than the ones that are there. How many, he only has, he has Fang Tower, which is right there. That'd be a lot easier to take. I know he's coming to Cashley, I know it. And it's going to take too long to siege that anyways. Alright, he's going to Manhole. we got to see what he's going to do. Alright, he's going to assault the rest of that, which is fine. Damn, man. We're going to leave men sitting there. Um, he's going where? He's going to Sarsfield. I'll go to Lannisport. Hurry up, man, before you lose too many men. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, man, it goes straight across. No, ah! Oh. Better off just going there first. He's, oh my god, he's reinforcing like crazy. Where is he going? He's going to Ashmark. Keep taking your ass up there. We're going to go back and take this back while he went that way. Don't turn around. All right. I don't know where he's going. They do have that other war going on, which is great. As long as that war don't end anytime soon, we should be okay. I think Aegon died. Burnt to death attempt at hatch a dragon egg on the 1st of January, 59. Damn. I don't remember when this, uh, when this started. I don't know if that happened beforehand or not. I assume so. Alright. I don't know what the date was when we started. It wasn't that much. Alright, he's getting that other castle. My lord enemy host approaches the circling castle. What should we do? There's nobody there. Yeah, I'm not going into hiding. That gives us some extra marshal doing that. It's not our capitals. I don't know why it said that. Uh, he's probably going to assault it. There's nobody there. Yep. He just blew it out. He's probably coming down here again. So we're not going to probably be able to see. Oh, it's only 17 men. Take that. Can we get to them? The 12th? No. Where is he going? Sarsfield? It'll make him stop at least. Alright. Now go that way. If we can take out these little pockets of men, we'll be cool. I just don't want him popping up here, which I'm afraid he's going to happen. Alright, good. Uh, we'll go down to Sar uh, Lannisport. Kind of stay away from him. With this, yeah, see. Here he comes. He's going to take that one castle back. He's probably just going to assault it. So we're just going to have to like run around. He's going to cash to leave. Damn it. We can only run around for so long. We're losing money big time. Bad. I mean, we're not even getting any special tips or anything, which would help a lot. Oh, there we go. Take those men out. It's not much, but I mean... As long as we can stay ahead of him in the battle department, 
All right, he's going back up, which is good. Oh, hold on. Take them out. Are we going to make it? Yeah. I mean, it's like a percentage point here, a percentage point there. Like, that right there was two, you know. Um, how many do I have here? Just a little more. Yeah, we're going to sit here. Oh, he's going to Castamir. Damn it. You can't let him take that, man. All right, he's leaving. He's going to take the one we have at Tarbeck probably first, which is fine. No, he keeps going. I think he's going to come down and try to get us. Having my spy master there is pretty good because it keeps... uh. I'd much rather get these, this is, you know, guaranteed percentage points where he's going to get down here. We're not even going to be able to do that anyways. My beloved nephew, Victor, is concerned he's not married still. All right, um, right, we'll find you somebody real quick. We can get, uh, oh, that'd be great. Oh, shit, I forgot. What was I thinking, man? Damn. Please, ally. Oh, come on, please come help me. Um, what can we get you out of somebody? Could we get Dorn? That'd be great. Craig Hall is part of their thing. Um, what about, is there anybody in the Reach that can be married? How many daughters? No. No women. Let me see. Um, Victor. Oh, we have a... Our niece. Who's the heir? The heir is probably already married. He's the heir. Our niece is 18. This will get us Lord Paramount Boothor. Alright, let's try to do that. Man, I should have did this from the door. She's 18. Who's next in line? Garth. Alright. I'll say yes. Alright, then we'll get you. Who else is close? What about the Tullys? She's married. Alright. Let me see. Who do you have that we can marry our nephew to? Nobody. Oh, this would get us. What is this? Who is that? It's his mom. Is there another rain that's not too young? Um, that's our son. That's our nephew, too. You know what? I'm willing to sacrifice. How much does he like us? Not really much. We can get a... Please give us an alliance with that. <laughs> oh, please. Alright. Come on, come on, come on. He's gonna go... He's going to Greenmont. He's going to be there on the 25th. So we need to go into reach territory and come around. Alright, you agree to it. Please form an alliance. Oh, you son of a bitch. Damn it. Come on, Baratheon. Say yes. Alright. Please. What? I can't even ask him to come in? What's the point of having an alliance for? Oh, you got to be joking. Why can't we call? There must be a war that can be called in. Why can't he be called in? So, are you telling me I did all this for nothing? Give me a fucking break, man. Oh, my God. What about Dorn? Dorn's not in any war. Oh, man. Why can't we... Oh, betrothal, that's what. Um, Kyle. She likes us a little bit more than the other ones do. Alright. Please tell me... Oh, you got to be kidding me, man. Alright, we need to send our... What's your call there? He's in the... No, he's not in the war. Let me see, how far off was he? Only like two points. Let me try to use him to garner a, a better... Uh, please make the relation a little better. 
Because we're not going to be able to pay for these guys much longer. Alright, he's going to Cornfield. He'll be there the 25th. So we need to go. We need to come out this way. No, we'll go that way. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull this off. We're going to lose those mercenaries relatively soon. He's going to Greenfield. He's running with us. So, who can we arrest? We need some money. What happened? Oh, he's going to stop. Damn it. I can't believe we didn't get that, man. Like, what's the point of having the damn alliance if you can't freaking use it? Alright, we're going to go backwards. <laughs> Man, we're going to lose some of the bed. I'm hoping some of these other ones fill up and we can raise them. I don't know how it says we have 617, but we can't use them. Those guys, we can't use. I don't understand that shit. I'm wondering if we drop our men. Come back into the Westerlands. We drop our men. Uh, if we drop our men. We'll come back up this way. Take those. Hopefully he takes his men over to deal with the Iron Thrones War. That would be great. It's still dragging on. That'd be, oh, there's 800. Now, I wonder if his men... Let me see. Where's this easy way to figure out where they're at? Where's his commanders? Must have all the vassals. Alright, they're in Pain Hall. I think that's where all of them are going to be. That were just there anyways. Um, yeah. Okay. We could take out these 800. Before he can even come and help. And if we can run up there. Take back what he took from us. Man we have 18 gold left. Are you kidding me? We need to hurry up. If we can get up here, I'll drop my men. At least the men that are under me. How many do we need here? 85. I'm in the west right now. I'm going to take them or drop my men. It'll take away this money right here. We'll still have the men here to 950. We'll bring, make back some money by the time we get up here. Alright. Let me see something. Let me make sure I'm not going to lose men. Shit. We have to get back up here. I'm going to lose so many men if I don't. Alright. We got two months to get up there. Pretty much. We get to where our territory is and I can drop them. And not lose those men. Hurry up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We can see. We can assault this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright. 114. Good, I can drop those men. Alright. Without losing them. I'm going to drop those men. We're still losing four. I mean six. That's for the mercenaries. So that's okay. And we still have them. We'll siege this. Bet if I pull this off. Alright. I'm not going to assault it. Because I don't want to lose any men. We need to keep track of where his people are. He's in Langward Hall, so I think they're they're moving more and more. Yeah, they're they're completely left the west. All right, oh, we might be able to pull this off. We have more than enough battle score. We have to siege down some shit though. We're still not making any money though. Oh my god, this is fucking mercenaries. News of unrest in Manhill. Steward of Case has been trying to squeeze some extra taxes out of the population. Why do I care? They're not even under me. Alright, hurry up and take this shit so we can go back. Take that, take Glitterdell. Man, we're still gonna lose money though. We need to make more money. I don't know any way we can make more money. I got him. He needs to get one of them special tiffs or whatever collected, but he doesn't have a good percentage of being able to do that. Damn it, man.
This really sucks. We're, we lost money on this because it was looted. But it will go back back up, but not fast as we need it to be. Um, 16% still on that one. Um, what is it, this one? That's not really ours, but still we get money from it. And this one is not looted anymore, so... Oh, man. We need to go... Which one had more war score on it? <laughs> A lot of, like, micromanaging. All right, the one at the crag has more war score. We're starting to get ticking war score because he controls the west ones. We haven't sieged anything, so we need to do that. Where is his men? They're at pain hall. They're coming back. Damn it. Drox. That's right around here somewhere. Where the hell is it? Drox Castle. I thought that was in the reach. There it is right there. They're moving this way. So we need to stay up here somewhere. Man, this sucks. Alright, we're making we're making money now at least. So that way we're not going to lose money until I can raise my men back up. If they completely fill back up, it'd be great. I don't think it's going to happen, but... Uh, what happened? What's he trying to do? Seeks to kill Sir Adam Rushmore. I cannot believe he didn't get that freaking... Come on, dude. Doing the same. They don't want nothing to do with the alliance. And they're not in the war. They'd probably be able to uh, help us. They're so far away, though. This guy don't really like us at all. Ah, damn it. Come on, man. Make the relation better there, please. 72. We might have to assault that if he keeps coming. He's going to Tedring, so he's probably coming down here. Somebody's sieging this. Black Tide. But he's not going there. Man, he's reinforcing too, man. It sucks. Yep, they're coming up here. We're going to have them. Let me see. Uh, he's going to be there May 31st. As soon as he gets there, we're going to have to assault this and just lose whatever men have. Oh, my God. This asshole. Where is he going now? Sarsfield. He's going that way. We're stressed now. Oh, my God. How are we losing money? We're making money. So how is it that we're losing it? I mean, it isn't much, but... Now we're over the main limit. Oh, come on. This shit is killing me. Alright, um... We gotta figure out. If he keeps going that way, it's good. But I think he's gonna cut back. Mm, yup, he's coming. Tar back. I don't see this happening, boys. I'm sorry. <laughs> and now we're losing money. Jesus. All right. Please be enough to get an alliance. Please. You got to be fucking kidding me. There's no way we can get any more money either. Ugh. God damn it, man. Who's this? I guess he's at war with his liege lord. We're going to lose the mercenaries here shortly, so... He's going to Casimir. He's probably going to siege it. No, he keeps coming. All right. At least he's not going to siege it. I'm going to have to raise those men. My coffers are empty, but the faith is rich. Maybe I should seize set properties for payment. Yeah, we definitely will do that. 50 gold. Yeah. Give me that money. Thank God for that. Shireen Rain. Alright, man. Come on. Get the hell out of there before he gets there. Alright, he's coming back down now. He just took it back. Um, if he gets the Casimir before we get there, we're going to stop. Alright. Stop there. Alright. At least we have enough money to keep these mercenaries. As long as he doesn't keep try to siege Castamir. Keep raiding, Greyjoy. Ah, oh, where'd you go? <laughs> Alright, he's coming down. 
how many men are here at 2,000? We have to siege something because of the ticking war score. If we take one lordship, it'll be all right. And that ticking war score will go away. Don't raid my shit, man. Damn it. 3,000 men. I'm going to have to leave and come down here if he sieges my shit. I'm about to go. God damn it, man. And I'll have to raise the men as soon as I get there. He's looting me. He's not messing with my men, though. He didn't even have enough men to, to do it, but I can't have him taking my fucking money either. I barely have any as it is. Alright, we're gonna get there on the 6th. So, right before the 6th, we have to bring those men uh, on the 5th. Alright, now we gotta raise our men. It's almost full, which is good. And then we'll just drop them again. Ooh, are you worth any money? Please be worth some money. 26 gold, we'll take it. Alright. Now, I don't remember which one. Okay, you guys go that way. My other men, I'm about to drop you again. <laughs> Hopefully they'll uh, come back. We'll take this back, at least. And then we have to siege something. We'll get the money for him shortly. Hopefully. Come on already, pay for him. I thought we just, we ransomed that dude. Definitely not giving you any gold. Minus 15, minus the levies raise is like probably 40. Uh, we'll give them tax concessions, no other choice. Pat the kitty, allow the kitty to come. Yeah, we need the health. Come on, man. Alright, he paid that, so we're back up to 100. This is the one that we don't own, so I'm thinking we have to give up one of those, probably. Maybe if I give this one to my son. No, I can't do that. I need the men more than anything. We're losing out on vassal tax, though, having that extra holding. God damn it. We had to be stressed, didn't we? Let me see. Where is he at? All right. I'm probably about to end this one here shortly. Hayford. Craig Hall. Hayford. Hayford. I think most, most of the men are in Hayford, which is great. All right. We need to have them come down to there. Take that back. Yeah, we're going to have to end this here. It's getting a little long. So, hopefully, we'll be able to pull this off. Um, it's not looking good. We need to siege something down. I'm hoping he takes his men somewhere and gets his ass kicked by uh, the black fires. I'm not, I'm not counting on it. Hawthorne. I think he is at a war on his own. No, I guess not. Um, where are... I hope most of it are chittering brook. So I think it's being sieged by them. Oh no. Some Tyrosh men are sieging him. So how are they there? Unless there's a battle going on. I just ain't going to show it because of the fog of war. Uh, hurry up, man. We take that back. We have to siege something. What is the, the main holding at? 2,000 fire. We're just going to have to stay there, probably. Oh, no. Latest port doesn't have anybody. All right. Yeah, we have to take that and go there. I just forgot they got looted. They only had 355 men there. We could take that relatively quickly. Hopefully, before, if he does start marching his way, which he is, because he's... River Spring, where is that? Oh my god, we're not even going to be able to make it there. 
Damn you, man. He's gonna pop up. I can't give you gold. 20. <sighs> Fuck it. Alright. Seems to be too. Alright, I'm gonna end this here. And we'll pick up. Hopefully, be able to siege something before uh, we get our ass kicked. And where's Brent Brook? He's going that way. Uh, hopefully, we can get and take Lannisport, and then I'll take the ticking war score off. Then we will be at least at 50, if not more. Because occupation, he only has Glitterdell. And then we'll be at at least 50. Well, maybe a little less. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can make the money last. <laughs> And these, uh, what you call it, don't book out on us. Mercenaries. At least get this completely full, and we'll have four to. Oh my god, here he comes. God damn him, man. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up. Where's he going? He's going to cast a mirror. Fuck. I hope he just goes to the crag. Don't siege mine, please. Come on. Alright. Your maester, you're useful. Thank you. Oh yeah, he's going to the crag. He seems to be staying away from our holding, but I don't know why. He's got more than enough men to siege it. Let me see. Altogether, it's 6,000. Some change. It'll take him a little bit, but not much. Oh, come on, hurry up. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. All right, good. See, now it went up. The ticking war score went away. All right, so we're going to end it here. Um, if you like what's going on, hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.